Let's take a look at fractions on a TI-86 calculator. And we'll look at our first problem here. Uh, simplifying 40 over 72. Okay. And there it goes. So I'll do 40 divided by 72 and then press enter. Now if you get a decimal, and this is just one way. You'll find on these uh, calculators sometimes there's multiple ways to do this. Uh, but if you get decimals, how you change it to a fraction form is you push your second button one time and then you push um, the math which is the multiplication here it'll pop up this menu we want to choose miscellaneous so I'll press F5 the button that's below that and uh, we don't see what we're looking for here on this screen so I do a more that's the arrow here indicates there's more to the right and that's where we'll see fraction and you see the button right below the fraction is F1 and then you push enter. So our answer would be five nights. Okay, now to get this uh, menu to disappear, you can um, press exit and then exit again. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's take a look at another, another problem. We want to add these two fractions together. So I'll do one divided by 36 plus 2 divided by 27 enter I get a decimal if I want to change it to fraction I'm going to do my second button and then do my multiplication for the math I want to do the um, I will go to the miscellaneous so I'll do F5 then I want to do more to go to the next page and then choose F1 for fraction and then press enter and our answer would be 11 over 108. Now let me do exit uh, to drop one of these menus off and exit to bring another one off. And let's take a look at subtraction. So I got 2 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 3. Enter. And um, then I want to go into my math. So I'll do second. Then the multiplication. I want to choose miscellaneous, so I press F5. Then I want to do a more to go to the second page. Then I want to choose F1 for fraction, and then press enter. And that gives us 1 15th. Now what you'll find is that if I were to jump into the next problem, this one here, multiplication. If I cleared this, I got 14 divided by 21 times 9 divided by 7, and then press enter. If we left this up here, if we know we're going to be working with fractions, then I don't have to go through all those choices. All I have to do is uh, push the F1 below fraction, and then press enter. Um, I've been exiting out just so you can clearly see where it's located out with uh, quite a few examples. But if I was going to know I was going to work with fractions, I'd leave that up and running. And we'll go ahead and exit out. And let's look at division. Now, division you have to be careful on. Typically, on any calculator, the best bet is to put parentheses around each fraction when you plug it in. So I'll do a beginning parentheses, 20 divided by 27. Closing parentheses divided by beginning parentheses 10 divided by 18. And then closing parentheses. Now, some calculators allow you, there's a fraction capability, so you can actually type them in as fractions instead of using a division symbol. Um, but again, just generally uh, put parentheses around each fraction, and you can just type in and use the divide. And then I do enter. I get a decimal. So again, I'm going to go do a second. Uh, multiply for math, choose um, miscellaneous, F5, choose more to go to the second page here, and I will choose F1 for fraction, and then press enter. So answer will be four thirds. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Let me exit out, exit, exit to get those. And here we got a complex fraction, uh, fraction inside of fraction.
again, trick here is put parentheses around the top, parentheses around the bottom. Other than that, you enter as you see it. So I'll do a beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 3, plus 1 divided by 5. Closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 7, minus 2. Closing parentheses, and then I'll press enter. Then we get a decimal, so now we'll do our second math, uh, the multiplication. We're going to go to miscellaneous, so push F5. I'll do more for the next page, and then I want to choose the F1 below the frac. And then press enter. And that would be our answer. And that's how you do uh, fractions on a T86 calculator.